Hello and welcome to another Wii Review with me, Dave Bignall. Today I am reviewing Quantum of Solace for the Wii. This features the James Bond films Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale. When you get further on into the game, there's a sort of flashback and you do levels from Casino Royale as well, so that's all good. If you like um, Link's crossbow training, and in particular the levels where you move around using the nunchuck and sort of looking around and shooting, you'll absolutely love this game because the controls are very similar um, and there's a lot more controls added on to that as well. This is a huge game, hours and hours of gameplay, levels and replications from the films. Very, very well done in my opinion. And um, with these extra controls at the very beginning, each stage sort of takes you through some of the different controls. So initially you're getting used to moving around and shooting and then controls come in where you're opening doors and then more and more controls build up. So by the time you get towards the end of the game, there are about a million different controls and buttons you can press, that sort of thing. It can get rather complicated, but the game does sort of lead you through them slowly so you can hopefully remember them all, such as like crouching behind a wall, that kind of thing. So very, very good. And as you can see by the video playing, this is how the game works. It is in essence a first-person shooter. Sometimes there's some other things that happen, we have to sort of jump over walls and you get like a third person perspective of it. But generally it's walking around, shooting people, opening doors, solving little puzzles, finding ways out, running through, throwing grenades, that kind of thing. And it's really good. There's loads and loads of weapons on here as well. The machine guns are particularly brilliant. There's something strangely satisfying about using a machine gun to shoot a load of computer people. Um, perhaps it's worrying that it is quite a lot of fun, but there's something about the rumble you get with the Wii Remote. I don't know, it just makes it fun. Now, like I say, you can use the Wii Zapper with this game, or you can just use the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck. I personally prefer using the Wii Zapper. It's probably because I like Link's Crossbow Training so much and sort of relate it to that game. The sound of this game is brilliant. It includes James Bond music, as you would expect, and it's also presented in Dolby Surround. And if you've got a surround system, it sounds amazing, particularly in levels where you've got helicopters circling you and because they spin all around the back speakers, that kind of thing. Fantastic. The other thing that's just really good, and I think makes all the difference to games that are based on films, is they've actually got the real actors playing the characters doing the voices in the game. For example, Daniel Craig, Eva Green, Judy Dench, all the main characters basically are covered by the real actors in a studio doing voices for the game. So that's a really nice touch. I'm really impressed with the graphics on this, others may disagree. It might not be up to sort of PlayStation and Xbox standards, but I think it looks really, really good. There's also sort of cut sequences um, which replicate scenes from the film, and they look very good as well. There's particularly a very good one where they're doing a car chase and you know it, it does look very very much like it's from the film so they've done a very good job with that and you really feel like you're in the whole sort of James Bond world and I should say the Daniel Craig James Bond world because obviously it's very different now because uh, we're in a much meaner place and this replicates that very very well but another thing with the picture something that can be a little bit of a problem is if uh, because some of the background isn't as sharp as perhaps some other games are, when you're in a big level and maybe there's a sniper a while away sort of shooting at you, sometimes it can be quite hard to spot things in the distance because the graphics can be a little bit fuzzy in the distance. But I think they've got around this because you can zoom into certain areas if you've got certain weapons that have that facility. So, you know, it kind of adds to the difficulty of the game. You'd be, sh you'd be shot at and you'd be sort of going, Where where's that coming from? Which I think would happen in real life. Luckily, I don't get shot at that often, so it's not something I've really experienced, but I'd imagine it would be something like that. There are some different modes to this game, the first one being single player, which is the main game, and that's where you go around as a first person shooter and you complete objectives throughout the levels and scenes of Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale. The other mode is multiplayer, and it follows the tradition of other James Bond games such as GoldenEye, which everyone sort of talks about and says it's the most amazing game ever and all that kind of thing. Now, multiplayer. Uh, on two-player, you can uh, walk around a level, try and find each other and kill each other, that kind of thing. But it's not just two-player. You can have three players doing that, four players doing that. And you can also do this over Wi-Fi. So you can shoot a friend across the country or in another country via Wi-Fi. So that's good. 
So yes, you can uh, you pick different sort of levels they have, and you find each other, and the first one to shoot the other one wins, and you get points. That kind of thing. There's also another one where you can also shoot each other, but there's some objectives as well, like you have to find a briefcase that's hidden somewhere on the level, that kind of thing. So that's brilliant as well. That's that's really good fun. I think the two-player version of that isn't as fun as when you've got four people walking around because sometimes when you've got to know the level it can be quite easy to spot where the other player is because you can just obviously because it's split screen you can just look on where they are and find them quite easily if you've got to know the levels four player it's difficult to keep track of everyone so there's a bit more surprise there i think in conclusion i think this game has had a lot of hard work gone into it and it really feels like you're in the worlds of Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale. I think they've gone into a lot of effort to recreate some of the scenes and also they've added some extra scenes that might have happened between the films, that kind of thing, just to sort of give you a few more different gameplay elements. So that's really good. Uh, the other thing I really like about this is after each objective, the game gets saved so you can keep coming back to the same bit. And the objectives probably take about 10 minutes per, per objective, so you never have to go too far back to the last save point if you have to quit the game at any point. Now the downside to this I suppose could be the controls. They are pretty difficult because there's a lot of them that happens. You can do all sorts of things but at the same time you do want to be able to do these things to fully play the game. I think if you've played Link's Crossbow Training and have got the Wii Zapper and have gone through all those levels this is pretty easy to pick up and just adapt the extra little buttons and that as you play it and it does walk you through those slowly so I think to someone who hasn't played Link's Crossbow Training with the Wii Zapper or any game that uses the nunchuck to move around with the gun on there it can be quite complicated and it's certainly not one you can just pick up and immediately understand the controls uh, some people I, I know have tried that and just end up sort of spinning around in the screen and aren't quite sure where they are so like I say I think Link's Crossbow Training is a good place to start and then this game is a good sort of follow-on not that it's anything to do with it but you know what I mean it kind of complements the uh, control mechanism um, so yeah that's a downside of that the other one is perhaps the graphics could be better but you know that's uh, perhaps more of a limitation of what the Wii can do but the Wii was never meant for you know fantastic effects it's more about gameplay which this game has on the plus side, there's hours and hours of gameplay with this. Lots of things to do, lots of different weapons, lots of variation of this sort of game. Because there are a lot of games like this where you just walk around and shoot things and there's nothing more to do. But this has certainly tried to replicate certain things that happen in the films very well to make you do all sorts of different things in different controls. So that's good. The other thing as well is multiplayer is very good on this and particularly the fact that you can use it over Wi-Fi which opens up the game to all sorts of other possibilities and you can bring all sorts of people into the game so that's good fun and also of course with playing multiplayer over the Wi-Fi you don't just have a split screen and you can't see where they are so that kind of makes that a little bit more exciting about where are they, are they around that door, are they under that chair, who knows. So in conclusion I give this game a 9 out of 10. Please subscribe to my Wii Reviews. You can do this by visiting my YouTube channel or indeed www.davebignall.co.uk slash More reviews coming soon.